All right, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com through with another exciting episode for you. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever uh, holidays you guys celebrate, or probably even just Happy New Year since actually that's closer now because you guys are seeing this a few days after I filmed it. In any case, uh, today is Christmas Day, and as you guys can see, you got the Christmas tree and all the, uh, the stockings are stuffed with uh, maybe new presents for people. But in this episode, what I thought I'd share with you guys today is actually the food that I'm eating on Christmas Day. Like, it's a, a grand what I eat in a day episode. So we're going to show you um, what I'm eating today, what I'm preparing today. I'm currently traveling. Um, we're here at uh, Lauren's uh, parents' house. So we're spending the time with uh, Lauren's family. And um, yeah, we're just going to show, show you what I've been eating lately. So actually, uh, let's go ahead and head up to the second uh, kitchen area and show you guys the fridge and the food that I got and the food that I'll be eating for breakfast. So now we're in a second little kitchen area, which is kind of more like, I don't know, a studio thing in the house. And we got our own little sink and a little, uh, a lot of counter space and stuff, little bar top and a nice size fridge. So this is, uh, luckily it was cleaned out and empty when we got here. So we'll make sure to clean it out and leave it empty and clean when we leave. Uh, but we were able to stock up for the next uh, week or so that we'll be in town. The first thing when we got into town, we just went shopping. So I went out to like Costco, Sam's Club, uh, Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, you know, the local supermarkets, like the farmer's markets actually. I went to farms and picked produce actually to fill up the fridge. And uh, well, you know, once that's done, now I could relax and now I got all the supplies to make all the different foods and I actually will have food to eat as well. So actually, let's go ahead and head in and uh, show you guys what's in the fridge. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys actually what's in the fridge here. Open this baby up, and we got it fully stocked. When we got here, it's just fully empty, and now we're fully raw <laughs> with fresh fruits and vegetables. You know, that's the mainstay of Lauren and I's diet. It's fruits and vegetables, and that's what I think you guys should also be eating. They're the healthiest foods in the entire planet. So we had existing bottled water that was already in the fridge. We kept it in there and we got lots of stuff uh, to fill up. Anyways, as you guys can see, we got lots of these guys. Young Thai coconuts. We got 10 of these. I had a couple in a smoothie the other day, but uh, the majority of these actually, I'm going to basically take out the meat and I'm making the raw vegan dessert for everybody, which, you know, most people come in are just uh, regular eaters. They just most of her family eat regular. Her parents actually eat vegan, uh, but it's, uh, but yeah, most of their family just eat everything. So I'm gonna make them a raw vegan dessert. Hopefully they'll like it out of the coconut meat with some other ingredients I got. Um, it basically, it's a coconut meat, uh, vanilla bean date, and it's like a pudding that I'll then put into like little cupcakes with uh, fresh fruit. So that's gonna be good. Let's see, also we got uh, lots of stuff. Let's see, I don't know, Lorno has sun-dried tomatoes. We have a persimmons, uh, California persimmons. I got local tangerines at the farmer's market. Oh, we got all these guys here. Got organic blueberries. So I've been eating organic blueberries the last couple of days for breakfast. Uh, basically, one of these is 18 ounces. That's like a good size for breakfast for me and Lauren. We'll each eat one. Uh, the cheapest price for the organic blueberries that I found in this area, we're actually at Costco, is uh, 10 bucks for one of these guys. So, you know, that adds up pretty quick. So we got a lot of other stuff that's uh, less expensive to eat also. Found this uh, kombucha, it's a local here. It's a uh, Master K kombucha made in Texas. And it's actually $1.50 at the local uh, um, Central Market. So that was a pretty good price. So we got a couple of these. Uh, Lauren and I like to enjoy kombucha sometimes. Uh, let's see, also in here. Oh yeah, lots of stuff, man. So I'm glad that uh, Costco here in this area, and maybe even maybe near you, now sells organic romaine hearts. So we got uh, six of these organic romaine hearts, three forty nine. So that's definitely a good price. Lots of other stuff at Costco. They also had like organic um, zucchini squash. So one of the things that Lauren's gonna be making for the Christmas dinner tonight is uh, basically a pesto. Uh, you know, raw pesto with a zucchini that's been spiralized. We got a bunch of this. Uh, this actually, this one I think is from Sam's Club. Sam's Club also has this. It's cheaper at Sam's Club than at Costco, which usually it's cheaper at Costco. Let's see. Also, 
So, got a bunch of uh, organic apples, a whole bag full of sprouts. This is like $1.49 a pound. And then uh, organic navel oranges from Trader Joe's. It's like around a dollar a pound if you bought a bag. Then we got more of the uh, zucchini squash. The other thing we're gonna do with the zucchini squash, probably today if I have some time, we're probably gonna process this zucchini with some flax and some nuts and seeds and herbs and spices and tomatoes and some bell peppers and whatnot into a pizza crust to have for later, in a couple days, in a couple days. And also we got uh, bell peppers. Got these uh, bell peppers, these are greenhouse grown, one of my favorite brands, the Winset brand. Um, Red Bell is one of the most nutrient-dense and high in vitamin C, non-sweet fruits you guys can't eat. Let's see, I got uh, two heads of celery from Sprouts. It's like around a dollar. And then at uh, Trader Joe's, they just raise the price, or at least here anyways. They're only a dollar ninety-nine. This is like two twenty-nine now. We got the mixed carrots, and as you guys can see, I picked out a bag that has lots of uh, purple carrots. I'm really into eating like uh, purple foods and I encourage you guys to eat some purple foods each and every day they're higher in antioxidants all right and oh, then also we got the uh, organic sugar snap peas Trader Joe's this is Trader Joe's by far the best place to get these guys I like to dip these into guacamole let's see what else oh man so it's cool the uh, in town here the central market local market had these guys my favorite apples, these are the pink pearl apples. If you cut them open in the inside, they're pink. That's really cool. Uh, let's go. Yeah, and we got like most of our greens were from uh, we have a Costco. So we got these power greens, triple washed, one and a half pounds. I ate probably like over a pound in a smoothie the other day. Uh, $4.99 for one and a half pounds. So that's $2.99 a pound for pre washed, ready to go greens. You get juice, blend, or just eat in a salad. Uh, let's see. Oh, then we got some kind of uh, these apples for Lauren. She liked these guys. They're uh, these are a Pacific Rose apples that Lauren likes. So we got those for her. We got uh, two bags of organic kale. Uh, once again, this is from Costco, best price, uh, four dollars for one and a half pounds. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. And then we got um, local uh, H E B had actually uh, Del Del Monte. Non-organic pineapples, 99 cents. Most of the stuff I think I got is actually organic um, that I showed you guys until the pineapples are non-organic. Um, they're 99 cents and we're just gonna turn these into juice. Probably, I'm, I'm probably gonna turn it into juice uh, for the uh, holiday celebration tonight, actually. We got this stuff here, it's chopped down now, not looking too good, but this is a uh, hydroponic grown organic watercress. From Trader Joe's, $1.99, best price. I encourage you guys to eat some watercress uh, often, as often as you can. Um, it's one of the most nutrient dense vegetables, anti cancer, and all these other anti whatever diseases. And uh, you guys probably aren't eating it enough. <laughs> all right, so let's see more stuff. All right, so we got some uh, guacamole, maybe for the, uh, for the meal tonight. I'm sure we got some avocados in here too. We also have a fridge downstairs that actually has some greens that I picked yesterday as well as some more avocados and some other random stuff. And then uh, we got this stuff. This is the organic broccoli slaw. I think this is like $1.69 at Trader Joe's. It's kind of nice. We like to add this on top of salads or add it in soups, pre-cut, pre-washed. And what this is, this is actually the, um, the stems of broccoli that they peel and then they slice up into small pieces. So it gives you a nice crunchy texture. I love broccoli stems actually. And uh, let's see, of course, we got uh, more of those carrots, the color of the carrots. And then we got the cheap uh, bunny love carrots, by far the cheapest uh, organic carrots are at Costco. It's a 10 pound bag, I think here they're like $5.99, sometimes they're uh, $4.99 depending where you live. And uh, down to the last drawer down over here, you guys can't see it. We got uh, some cilantro, and then we make guacamole and some parsley. Or both organic. Let's see, it was like uh, 99 cents for the parsley and 129 for the cilantro. Something. Oh, and then here, check what I got here. This is my breakfast today. I wanted to show you guys. Mame sapote for breakfast on Christmas Day. Hey, does that rhyme? All right, so yeah, I'm going to eat one of these for breakfast. Uh, probably the small one. We'll see what happens. I'll open it up on the camera for you guys because that's what I'm eating next. I'm super hungry. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the fridge. I mean, showed you guys most of the stuff. We got a couple other things, you know, for fun. We got some uh, raw almond butter that's probably, the, the nuts have probably been heat uh, pasteurized. <laughs> and then we got, uh, you know, 
Lauren's making like some kind of like nut loaf instead of meat loaf, or actually, actually it's a vegetable loaf. It's not, it doesn't even have a lot of nuts. So she had to get the coconut aminos, which was quite expensive. And other flavoring agents we got, I like to use, we got the miso, and I have actually have, actually I bought sauerkraut yesterday, but I also made some sauerkraut last trip that I still have. And uh, oh, we got some of these. So last night we went to a Christmas Eve dinner, and we brought guacamole plus like uh, you know these organic broccoli florets that we're just dipping in the guacamole, which is a very simple and easy finger food, and probably uh, you know one of the healthiest things at the at the uh, event last night. They had a lot of fresh fruit, so cut up and stuff. So that was cool. But yeah, let me go ahead and get all this stuff back in the fridge, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut open that mesa pote, and we're gonna get to see if it's good or not. So before I cut into my mame sapote here, I wanted to show you guys actually some more stuff we got besides the fresh fruit and the vegetables. We actually got some dried fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, and other things. So over on this side, we got the uh, dates. So I got some uh, non-organic, I like to eat organic dates whenever possible. Uh, at Costco or Sam's, it's like $8.99 for two pounds. That's like four fifty dollars a pound non-organic. And then actually Lauren found the organic ones, I think it's Sprouts, it was like $7.99 per pound. So, and then uh, actually one of the cheapest foods here in town is actually uh, local bananas, or well, organic bananas bought locally, <laughs> um, imported. Uh, they're like 59 cents a pound, so we got a bunch of these. We'll probably freeze some for smoothies, might use it in desserts or something. Also got the white coconuts at the 99 only store here in town, uh, 99 cents each. We'll probably use this to make the coconut milk, might use it in a dessert or just a drink. Um, Lauren's making some kind of dessert with rolled oats. Other things she got for dessert were uh, rock and cow nibs. And uh, she got some uh, walnuts uh, for actually the brownie she made last night was actually quite good actually. Coconut flour she got for one of her recipes. And uh, oh, she got sun-dried tomatoes for her meat, meat nut loaf. <laughs> and then we got some, some of these guys. Oh, these guys, like, I, I got to put the word out, man. These guys are the bomb. These are uh, mangoes, sweet and tangy, super snacks. This is just organic dried fruit, 100% organic. Uh, ripe Mexican mangoes dried. And it's uh, organic by nature. I think this whole bag, it's uh, 28 ounces, was like 17 bucks. And we cannot stop eating this stuff. It's like candy, it is so delicious. So yeah, check if your local Costco has that. Cheapest price for organic mangoes, but like good ones. These are not like super hard. They're actually really moist and really delicious. So that's cool. Oh, and then other things in here, let's see. Oh, we got uh, organic sweet onions, best place to go for these guys. Uh, Trader Joe's, and then actually also at Trader Joe's, we got some, uh, some red pears. You know, once again, they're full of color, more antioxidant rich. Now, these ones were like a dollar a pound for organic red pears. Uh, definitely not the best flavor. So yeah, that's some of the other stuff we're eating. And we try to base our meals around fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. So we could like juice, you know, pineapples with greens. We could juice just pineapples of a sweet juice for like uh, the meals tonight. We could do pineapple with celery and greens. So many different things you could do once you have the availability of a wide variety. As you guys can see, we just didn't buy bananas and dates. I mean, we, yeah, we bought bananas and dates, but we bought a lot of other stuff too. Lots of greens. Also, I didn't get to show you guys the garden outside that I may be harvesting from in one of my meals today. Um, so yeah, just try to always mix up what you eat and make uh, fruits and vegetables the majority of your diet with some nuts and seeds, you know, as smaller portions. So uh, anyways, yeah, I'm ready to eat, dude. So hungry. Let's go ahead and... Uh, break open that Mame Sapote from Florida. So now I'm ready to bust open that Mame Sapote. And uh, this is what it looks like. Kind of looks like a potato if you guys look at it. Now uh, picking a Mame Sapote can be very difficult. This guy happened to be $3, $3.99 per pound. So I asked before I bought it, can I return it if it's not good? And they said yes. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna buy it because if it's good, I'm eating it. And if it's bad on the inside, then return it. It's very important. Um, you know, I do encourage you guys to buy Mame Sapotes when they're hard. They will ripen once you buy them. The way to know is you're going to go to the top and you're just going to go ahead and scratch the top. And when you scratch it, the top part, you want to be able to see underneath that it's actually kind of like a, there's no green, basically. If you scratch it and it's green, then it's probably too early. 
uh, if it doesn't scratch green, if it scratches like a pinkish, you know, orange color, it's probably going to ripen up properly. That being said, if you do find one in the store and it's nice and soft, this is kind of like an avocado texture, you could press into it. Like, that could be good or bad. Like, I've bought plenty of mamesapote that you press into, they're soft, and then they're rotten on the inside, moldy on the inside, which this one may be. This one seems kind of alright to me, but you never know until you open it up. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this baby up, and I got my fingers crossed because I want to be eating this for breakfast today. All right, the moment of truth. How's it look on the inside? Oh yeah, look at that baby. No mold, looks really nice, looks totally perfect. This is what I'm eating for Christmas morning breakfast. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get to eat my maize sapote. The first thing is the seed. The seeds on maize are quite interesting actually. I kind of like them a lot. They're actually quite large, you've never seen them. And actually they have a, you know, a short term viability. So if you guys see it, take it out of the fruit and you want to plant it, take it out of the fruit and just stick it in the ground. And you know, it's going to grow more than likely if you take it and dry it and all this stuff, not going to uh, turn into a fruit tree. And uh, let's go ahead and look at that consistency. Let's go ahead and uh, scoop into this. And you know, like, People tonight are probably going to be eating pumpkin pies. Like, this is nature's pumpkin pie. You don't need no pumpkin pies, man, if you got mame sapote. It's a really nice, thick consistency. It's not like uh, orange where it's really, you know, uh, just watery. This is really thick and dense. Um, it's actually kind of the texture of a cooked pumpkin pie, but this is 100% raw fruit right here. Mmm. This one could be sweeter, but I'm grateful I'm eating tropical mamesa pote on Christmas Day. Just probably not many of you guys are doing it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of this stuff, and we'll come back at you when maybe I'm making some food or eating something else. So now I'm hungry again. It's been several hours since I had the mamesa pote for breakfast, and we're going to go ahead and eat again, and then I'm actually going to go ahead and get into making my dessert uh, raw vegan dessert for the family, which I'm actually going to make a pie today. So just for snack, because I just want to grab something really quick and eat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these organic sugar snap peas from Trader Joe's, and we got some uh, guacamole that we took to the holiday party last night that nobody ate, and so we brought it home, fridged it, I'm going to eat it today, and uh, so yeah, just uh, I'm going to take the uh, sugar snap peas one at a time, dip it in the guacamole, and eat it. Mm. It's a really satisfying, quick, and easy snack I would recommend for you all. So now I'm going to make the raw vegan dessert for the Christmas holiday celebration here. Lauren's just got finished making the uh, pesto um, salad, which is basically going to be over zucchini noodles that she's actually spiralizing right now. And I'm making the dessert. So what we got here to do that is a little pie plate, so it's an, I think a 9 inch pie plate. The base I'm going to coat with some uh, coconut oil so it releases pretty easy. And then in, in the food processor, I'm going to go ahead and simply process some flax seeds first to kind of get them cracked up or hopefully into a powder. Might do that in the Vitamix. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, some walnuts and some pitted dates. And that'll make a nice crust. Then I'm just basically going to form that crust on here and then I'm going to fill it up with some rich and delicious vanilla coconut pudding uh, with California persimmons. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see, I just got done processing the dates. I think I used like 12 dates, I don't know, a couple tablespoons of uh, flax seeds that were already uh, pre-ground up in the Vitamix before putting it in here. And then some walnuts, and uh, this is the consistency we want. You don't want to let it run too much. You want it to run so it's almost like a like, nice dough consistency. We're just going to go ahead and uh, spread it off in this plate, and in the plate I've actually oiled it with some coconut oil, and uh, make it taste better for all the people that normally don't eat raw vegan. I put a little salt, and that'll ensure that my dish tastes really good, and it's going to be the hit of the party. <laughs> Definitely important, because you've got to try extra hard <laughs> if you're raw vegan, trying to get people to, you know, like the food that you're making. So, uh, yeah, normally I wouldn't add the salt, though, but... Uh, 
The little bit of salt is going to help people eat more raw vegan. Hey, I'm all for it. Not that I necessarily would agree that salt is any kind of health food because it isn't. <laughs> all right. So uh, we just poured this in there. We're just going to basically flatten out a bottom and then we're going to kind of build it up on the sides. So now that I got the crust all prepared, it's all nice and in there, we're going to go ahead and make the filling. So the filling is like a two part. I'm probably going to cut up persimmons and that's a one layer and then the alternating layer will be a coconut uh, filling or coconut uh, cream filling and so for that what we're going to need is we're going to need the young Thai coconuts when you're selecting these guys out it's kind of better to get ones that are a little bit on the lighter side that means you're going to have more thicker meat which is going to be actually better for the cream filling on the inside so I'm going to go ahead and open all these up take out the water we're not going to use that we might use a little bit of water just to get it blended we're going to use all the meat in here as well as some uh, Tahitian gold vanilla beans. This is the best brand of vanilla beans that you guys will want to buy. If you're looking for vanilla beans, um, I like them. That's what I've been using for like the past four years. I use only whole vanilla beans. I don't like to use any kind of extracts. And of course, the other thing that's going to go in the filling, once again, we could use some more dates. Now, if you got something like mulberries, dried mulberries, hey, that'd be great to put in. You could even use raisins. You don't need to use the dates. This is what I happen to have today. And likewise in the crust, you don't need to use the dates. You know, dates are plentiful and generally inexpensive. But any kind of dried fruit will work. All right, so I got to get to and do that. And we'll come back at you once we got all that ready. So now I'm going to share with you guys the next step of making the pie. It's super simple. Uh, what I did was I blended the coconut meats with actually zero water with 10 dates and one vanilla bean. Use a tamper so you can get it actually nice and thick. And inside here, look at that. Nice, rich, delicious coconut cream. It's so thick it doesn't even come out the blender. That's how thick we want it so it stands up really well. We want to try not to add any coconut water unless you absolutely need it. So this is like my vanilla pudding that you could actually eat standalone. And then what I did was I actually cut up some persimmons from California and I put those in the freezer to kind of harden up so they're not like gooey right and I just chop uh, cut them up into slices and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour in the coconut stuff or probably spatula it in and then put a layer of the persimmons then a layer of the coconut stuff and then a layer of persimmons all the way until I fill up the pie all right first we've got a layer of the coconut stuff nice and thick So we got that all layered in there, then we're going to go ahead and take those persimmons and uh, just uh, layer them in there, make one nice uh, layer that I'll be touching. I'm going to have to chop a couple pieces up, get them to fit in there nicely. Alright, so we got two persimmons in there, now got another layer of the coconut stuff. Coconut cream right on top. All right, last bit of coconut goodness going on the top, trying to lay, level out the top here. All right, so that's what we got right there. We could keep it like that, but I'm gonna top it with some more fresh cut persimmons. All right, got the persimmons topped up. Let's go ahead and put these on top, make it look pretty nice. All right, so that's what we got tonight. One nice persimmon pie. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer until ready to serve it. So now I wanna share with you guys the spread of uh, dinner here. There's uh, lots of stuff. Some's vegan, some's not. You know, some of the family members are vegan and uh, probably majority are not. So at least there's uh, many options here for everybody. So everybody could eat something that's actually quite good and tasty. So let me show you guys what we're eating and actually what I'll be eating. So this is some stuff called a uh, wassail. I have no idea what that is. Maybe some kind of drink. And then uh, this is the salad that uh, Lauren made. Basically, it's gotten demolished. Everybody liked it so far, and there's like the spiralized noodles, and it's like a red pepper pesto sauce. It actually smells quite good. Um, it's gotten almost all eaten, so I better get mine, because actually this is probably one of the only two things that I'm eating myself. And that's gonna be in our recipe book that's coming out uh, next year. And also, let's see, we've got a bunch of other stuff. Oh, this is the other thing that I'll be eating tonight, and this is a veggie loaf. You know, instead of a meatloaf, it's a veggie loaf, so it's mostly vegetables with like a little bit of nuts and it's a dates and sun-dried tomatoes on top as like a ketchup that's dry. This is all dehydrated like overnight, so it's hard on the outside and soft. And, uh, this recipe here is actually from uh, Kate Flowers. Lauren downloaded her holiday ebook. And over on this side, of course, we've got the standard uh, uh, ham. And uh, actually, these two are actually vegan. This is uh, Yukon potatoes and some kind of rice. These are actually 
ordered from Whole Foods, and of course the, uh, the turkey there. And also they got the cranberry, another uh, vegan option, and some uh, butternut squash casserole. It's another vegan option. That's pretty much what everybody's eating. Maybe I'll cover dessert in a little bit. And yeah, everybody's like eating whatever they want. And it's cool, you know, everybody could come together and just celebrate these happy times instead of worry about that's, you know, what, whatever. Anyways, I'm just gonna get to eat because I'm hungry. All right, so now I want to share with you guys the desserts, actually. There's a lots of different things. There's just, like some kind of bun cake, or pumpkin pie, pecan pie, cookies, more cookies. And I uh, made my, uh, it's a persimmon coconut cream pie. So that's what I'm going to get to enjoy tonight. Maybe other people like it too. <laughs> so as you guys can see, the day is pretty much at an end. The family has come, and then they've gone, and we all have stuffed bellies. And actually, uh, some of the things Lauren made was actually quite a hit. So Lauren, you want to explain to everybody what you made and actually what was in them? Yeah, uh, so I just made the Kate Flowers meatloaf, um, vegan, raw vegan style, which I think she has on her channel. Um, so anyway, I made that and that was good. Yeah, I thought that like on that one, like the, it was really good except like it was just too big of a loaf it should have been made into patties and then had like the it was a tomato date kind of like sauce dehydrated on top which is actually would have been good if it was like way thinner all right so i made that and then i made the uh salad which was like zucchini um romaine and then uh spiralized zucchini spiralized zucchini romaine Mostly uh, zucchini. Olives, tomatoes and onions and basil on top, like in the fixings. And then the dressing was like a red pepper pesto. So there's a bunch of ingredients in that. Um, you want me to... Yeah, it's probably good. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody loved her salad, actually. Yeah, some people like the, we called it a, she called it a, what did you call it? What? The yeah. veggie loaf? Yeah, the ve you call it, she called it a veggie loaf or meat loaf. I like to say veggie loaf, or I tell people it's kind of like a veggie burgers, because that's kind of what it was, veggie burgers. Yeah, I guess, yeah. But yeah, everybody loved actually the salad, like, a lot. That was like the hit, like, it yeah. was gone. Yeah, it was really good. Everybody was like, wow, it's like spaghetti, and it's like really creamy, and it's just like really good, you know. Yeah, so even people, like if you have friends or you're going over to family's houses and they never really tried raw, don't like tell them, oh, this is a raw food dish or it's vegan. No, just tell them it's a salad. People are all right with salads. They'll eat salads. They know that's something common, but if you make something weird that's raw, oh, they're scared of it. So just spiralize some zucchini and make a nice sauce for it and just, hey, I, I brought the salad. Yeah, and every, everybody always thinks a salad is like, oh, that's... Let's chop up some carrots and put some lettuce in it and, oh, we'll put a little dressing on it. And, then, you know, when you do something, like, really hearty and creamy and it's, like, almost like a casserole, everybody's like, oh, I didn't know salad could be so, like, crazy and amazing. I don't know. It's so good, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we eat lots of salads like, all the time. So. And then my dessert. My dessert was all right. I should have probably put more dates in the... Uh, coconut mixture actually I thought but I think uh, I got some comments you know people liked it overall yeah yeah it was very good it was very good cool so uh, Lauren any last tips for my viewers today that you'd like to share oh, for uh, the holidays and all um, this I don't know just be prepared and uh, yeah like the salad that I made like that dressing like I know that dressing and I know it's really good and like I know it's gonna be like good and people are gonna like it and I, I don't know I'd be like feel weird if I was just like experimenting and like oh I don't know I'll just put this I don't know I'm not that confident with it <laughs> so I just make sure I make something that I'm really confident making and then I know everybody's gonna like it and then I don't know it'll open people's minds to what can be done with plants <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, I definitely agree. Don't experiment like on big holidays. Don't like, I'm going to make this recipe for the first time. Like, make it yourself. Make sure it tastes good. And maybe when you go to potlucks, right, bring it to potlucks. Make sure the people there like it. If you pass those two tests, then yes, bring it to like the big holiday meal. Because, you know, we want to try to impress people with the foods. And I think definitely some of the people here were impressed by the raw vegan foods, you know, and there people were calling it vegan. And one, one of the, I guess you're, 
your sister's brother's brother's wife, <laughs> you can figure that one out, said, uh, oh, can I put the ham on top of the, the yes. vegan salad? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, whatever you want to do. <laughs> it all goes to the same place, you know. <laughs> There's a couple yeah. vegan and non-vegan jokes at the table, you know, whatever, it's all good. Yeah, it's Don't all get good. too offended and, it's all good. you know, don't be like I was one Thanksgiving where I'm just telling everybody, Meat is murder! <laughs> <laughs> There's a dead cow on the table and you guys are eating it, I can't believe it! You know how bad that is for you? I mean, nobody wants to hear that on, you know, any holiday meal, so just keep it to yourself and just try to have fun and just feed them good stuff and live by example. That's the most important thing I can say and, you know, they'll see, hey, you have the, you have a correct or under BMI and other people if they're eating the standard stuff maybe it's not the best BMI in the world. I mean that's just the facts. Like if you don't eat healthy, you know you're not gonna be healthy. And eating plant foods are simply the healthiest. So. Well said. <laughs> That'd be nice. All right. So. Okay. Anyways, I want to always encourage you guys to eat more plants, the fruits and the vegetables. They're the best food on the planet. And that's simply just what I today and I got to share with you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this format and actually kind of like even had some recipes kind of built into this format when I made my uh, pie tonight, hey, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. That only encourage me to do more videos like this for you guys in the future. Also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my new and upcoming episodes that I'm coming out of every five to seven days. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge, over 450 videos on this YouTube channel uh, dedicated to educating you guys about all aspects of eating a fresh fruit and vegetable, raw, plant-based diet. And finally, be sure to share this with friends that you think it could help out. All right, so uh, with that, this is John Kohler and... Lauren! <laughs> <laughs> with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.